today I thought I'd share a tip with you on how I like to warm up my skin using a bronzer. And I'm not going to do regular contouring today, I'm actually just going to warm up the skin to give the impression that I have been in the sun. As you can see I'm quite pale and I love that sun-kissed look but I don't get very tan so it's nice to be able to cheat. And the bronzer that I've chosen today is from Max Factor. It's um, in the color O2 and this bronzer is kind of a red tone bronzer as you can see I'm going to swatch it for you. It has a nice and velvety soft texture and it is it can be built up to be quite dark and I chose a more red tone bronzer because when I tan I get a little bit redder in tone. Normally I'm quite yellow in tone but when I tan I get a lot more um, red in tone. Not that I get sunburned but my color naturally has a lot of red in it when I'm tan so that's what I'm trying to mimic today. When you are choosing your own bronzer to do this, um, I suggest that you go for one that uh, looks natural in you, which means that um, it, it mimics the same color that you personally get from tanning, and uh, I chose this one. I can see that it has a little bit of a, uh, a golden shimmer to it, but um, the, the, the particles are extremely small, so I don't think it's going to be a problem. Preferably use a matte bronzer for this, but I'm pretty sure this is going to have like a satin finish on the skin, which is just going to give me a lot of glow. So for this you want to use quite a large brush, and preferably one that isn't very dense. And um, this one I'm using today is from an unknown brand, and of course take your product, dip the, the brush in, and then just tap off the excess so that you make sure that um, you won't get too orange and too carried away because that's kind of easy. I suggest that you start slow and just build up the color. So the first thing I'm going to do is bronze up my forehead and that's quite important for this look because I find that my forehead gets tanned the most and that's where the sun naturally hits. So just start working in the bronzer around um, the temple area. I don't like to take the bronzer too far down towards um, my brows. I just like keeping um, keeping it to the outer perimeters of the face and then just working it in like that. Again, I'm not really doing contouring here. I'm going to uh, bronze up quite large areas on my face so it's not going to give that much of a sculpted effect. It's only going to give um, a little more glow to my face. Just keep adding bronzer until you think that um, you look sun-kissed. Alright, like that. I'm not going to add any more bronzer because that, that would just look way too much on my pale skin. So again, I'm dipping the brush into the product and now I'm going to focus on the cheekbone area. And normally when you contour, you make um, a, a line here and that is quite a low part of the face and the sun won't hit there as much as um, as it would on the top of the cheekbone. So the bronzer today I'm going to use um, like sort of like a blush and a bronzer at the same time. So not where I would normally contour but just uh, just above that. So starting from the outer part of my face again and just working my way in. You can skip blush when doing this technique or you can, uh, you can add blush to the apples of your cheek if you like to. Um, I'll see when I get there. As you can see, I applied right on the cheekbone actually. Not where I would apply a highlighter, but more where I would apply a combination of the contouring uh, color and the blush. Then I'm doing the exact same thing on the other side. I'm just working my way through with... Um, quite thin layers so that I won't get orange. I'm not hitting the apple of the cheek, just focusing on the higher points, like so. Alright, what are the next high points of your face? That's your chin and your nose. And be quite careful these places, so I'm going to just tap off the excess on the back of my hand and bronze up my chin a little bit and just take the rest on my nose. And that is actually quite a uh, an overlooked place. I always see people place a lot of highlighter on the nose, but today I think we are going to bronze it up just slightly um, to get that sun-kissed look. And um, also make sure if you have applied a lot of bronzer to your face that you take it just down your neck a little so that your face and your neck matches.
All right, you can see that I have gotten a lot more color to my face now and that I've just hit like the high points of my face, my nose, my chin and my forehead, of course, but I've, I've left um, the inner part uh, quite untouched and I haven't done a lot to this area either. So uh, my face has a lot more dimension to it still without really um, contouring my face with this bronzer and I quite like this technique. I'll just show you how it looks when you pop on a blush. One second. All right, so the blush I chose is a corally color from Clarins and I'm just going to pop this on the apples of my cheeks. I'm just staying on the apples of my cheeks and not dragging it backwards way too much. Now that the blush is applied, I like to go in with another brush. This one is the e.l.f. complexion brush and then I just blend out the product so that there are no harsh lines on my face. Everything has to look uh, blended together and really, really seamlessly. So that is it and that's actually the finished result. You can go in with a highlighter if you want to. I think I'm just going to leave it like this. Um, maybe just blend out a little more here on my forehead. Um, I really like the simplicity of this makeup. Um, a bronzer and a blush and that's actually it for my um, complexion, contouring, highlighting. Um, action. So I hope that you liked this video and that you found it helpful and maybe found another way to use your bronzer. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!